and in this war, you do not feel so bound. Ah, damn I it, it's Koei. Yeah. I can't do it, guys. Go on he with that. was gradually me. going more and more Mustadio, and this sentence just pushed it over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> to betray your lineage, Lord. No. <laughs> please. She's a oh, lineage. Please. <laughs> Boo. Don't worry, in editing, all of this is just, you know, gonna go away. You're gonna look so smart. <laughs> yes, no, I totally do. And then we'll have a blooper reel right at the end. If nobody has Dukul Tana, I will try to do an Irish accent. Oh, Irish. Irish, eh? Or Scottish, I'm not sure. It's whatever I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't think anyone has Goltana. Nice. Hey. He's yours. My advisors tell me that you are the one who rescued Princess Ovelia. It would have you tell me more. I am Delita Hero, a Black Ram lieutenant in the service of the Select. Excellency of the Baron Grimms. His Excellency dispatched me to rescue the princess. And so I did, disguised as one of your own, a sheep in a lion's clothing. Now, I have returned. Hyro, you say? That is a name I've not heard before! I thought Baron Grimms and his black rams fell in battle against the eye a fortnight past. Indeed, that dark news spread spurred me to return with all the greater haste. Her fear is the princess. She is weary yet from her long journey. She sleeps as if among the dead. Oh. This is oh, an important Sid. one. Oh, yeah. Sid. Orlando. This, isn't this the one you wanted? Uh, no, I think I wrote Kira down. For I this think one. Kira got claimed. No, I had one. this one. I will do my action hero voice. There yeah, that works. I like it. All right. There we go. Is it not true you brought a prisoner? It is. Bring the prisoner forth. I was going to bring him first. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're going to make me giggle through my lines. Let us hear the reason for your attempt on the princess. Twas to stain Duke Altana's name and keep him from Leslie. <laughs> we thought to deny him the reg reg regent seat. <laughs> I have a... <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> Uh, stutter? Stutter. I have a stutter. <laughs> Aww. Who gave you the order? Duke Larg? No, a close advisor of Duke Go Gotana seeking to car carry Duke Larg's favor. Madness. None among us would fain betray our Duke. Silence this man. He knows not of what he speaks. I would hear it nonetheless. Who was it? Hey. Name the one who gave you the order. My man! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Such sass. I'd have your protection. On my honor as a knight. Speak. Was the man who stands before me, Chancellor Galvan? What? How dare you? I do not even know you, knave! We play poker every night, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I ordered my specialty fried chicken from you! <laughs> who put you to? The Queen! Stop this, Bummer's farce! I've not to do with this! To betray your liege lord is an unpardonable crime, Chancellor. It was not I! I do not of it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
my glory was short lived. <laughs> oh, I'm the dying. kitchen you made will be remembered forever. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Shut up, you're dead. Do I need to stab you again? <laughs> Forgive me if I presume over much, Your Grace, but now is not the time for bandied words. Candied? Band-aid. Band oh. We have a wound. <laughs> yes, we, we need it. We need the band-aid. <laughs> yes, because we have wounds in our hearts now. <laughs> no, we're like the back. <laughs> yeah, oh, right in the back. True. <laughs> Very true. The Order of the Southern Sky must march on Lasalia at once, and you with it. Give your enemies but a moment to collect themselves, and they will pin the Chancellor's sedition on his lord. Your grace must strike before they are given the chance. Deny the prince's claim and set the princess on the throne. Thank God I didn't have to keep doing the Irish thingy accent, whatever it was. Oh, oh, Follow oh. Very long. <clears throat> Following his sack of the royal capital of Lasalia, Duke Goltana banished Queen Loviria to Besalat with for her hand in the conspiracy and crowned Prince Ovilia queen. But Duke Larg, insisting that Prince Orinus was the true and rightful heir. Ah, Orinus, once, yes. At once crowned the child prince and declared himself regent. Moving then to free the queen, Duke Larg dispatched the Order of the Northern Sky to Besalat in the name of the new crowned king. Duke Goltana, in turn, set the Southern Sky in March o in Ovilia's name. The curtain had risen on what history would one day record as the War of the Lions. Oh, I was always hoping you would go so extravagant. The War of the Lions! Yes! I want that! Do it again! <laughs> Play it. The War of the Lions! I don't know. It sounds a lot like they were just doing a lot of pussy footing. Ah. For Pesolet! <laughs> <laughs> That's the new narrator voice, guys. It's gotta be... <laughs> Gotta be like. Oh, gotta announce the WWE new world champion in the multi belt. Ah. Uh, okay, Shay is the Marquis and Duke Goltana. I don't yeah. remember the name or not the name. Oh my gosh, the oh, voice for the Marquis. Uh. Oh, I what? do. He's gay. <laughs> 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 this past evenfall, the count stood at twenty thousand. If both sides be counted. Alone, we've sustained oh, 200,000 wounded as well. The number of casualties does not concern me. Nor does the depletion of our stores. These were to be expected. No, it is this drought that threatens us. The markets are empty and tax collections fall short. With prices as they are, we can lay in supplies for another half year at best. Duke Larg must surely face like difficulties. It rained unceasingly in Galion this season. The grain rotted in the fields before it could be harvested. The real trouble lies in the war's wake. There is no work. Whole villages have been displaced. Oren tells me over 100,000 have already fled to Lysilia, and more pour in by the day. Ha! I see no trouble in this. Let Duke Lard struggle to feed the mewling maids and his soldiers both. It is no laughing matter. Should the conflict spread, we may find ourselves no better off. Think you, Zeltenia, proof against such fate? I assure you, we are not. Has not the time come to chart a course to peace? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Your fears are well founded, but we cannot yet win this war. We shall treble the rate of tax and keep a close watch on those who hope to profiteer in these trying times. 
As for those seeking refuge outside the castle walls, we shall tighten our patrols at the Lim Limberry border to see they are turned back. Large suffers as do we. What better time to treat for peace? You talk in circles, Orlando. There can be no peaceful end to this. The kingdom cannot exist without her people, Excellency. No more than we can. In the Fifty Years' War, who bore a greater burden than they? Would you thank them now with higher taxes? And it is not only the people. Our soldiers are made to fight on rations that would scarce feed a child at his mother's skirt. We cannot long sustain this war. It is a matter of resources and resolve. Resolve? Have you any? These are the words of a coward. The Fifty Years' War was fought to drive back an invasion of our sovereign soil. We were honor bound to fight! And in this war you do not feel so bound. You were never one to hypocrisy, Orlando. Show leniency now and they will only strike the harder. This fight is not only for ourselves but for our people in equal measure. The crown cumbers them with its every act. We fight to free them of such tyrannies. His grace has the right of it. Besides, why lay down the sword when victory is so near? Your title is ill-earned, Thunder God said. Your uh, gentle words would sooner stir a breeze. Is victory so near? My ears are deaf to its approach. Ah, right, he got hit by the Thunder God <laughs> and now he's not here. What see you in our plight that portends victory? Or have you forsworn the use of your eyes? Damn! I will not sit here and tolerate such insults. Enough of this. You disappoint me, Orlando. Pray you do not disappoint me further. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. I will not say this but once. Any man who cares not for the course I have chosen had best remove himself now. I will brook no further doubt, Orlando. Da, 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 da. Chapter 3 The Valiant. Yes. Wow. Just like that. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Delita once told me. Oh, no, this is. Delita once told me he was swimming against some unseen current. If this current rushed towards war, and the world with it, what hope did I have to fight it? I made for Lithalia to tell my lord brother that someone dictated the war from the shadows. And to test my legs against the current. It was only knee deep, apparently. Mm. <laughs> The only thing what? I can go off of for the Marquis' voice, Kira, is, ah, uh, mm. <laughs> Oh, no! That's it! 